I basically just gave ChatGPT prompts of what I wanted and this is the website it coded. Wow! If you don't know what ChatGPT is, it is an AI chatbot that interacts in a conversational manner. It can code, write articles, and is even capable of generating human-like text based on the inputs that it receives. I'm going to be building a full website with ChatGPT from the ground up. That is from planning, writing the website copy, and actually writing the code for the website. After that, we're going to publish and host the website on Netlify. I'll also share a few things that I've learned using ChatGPT. Let's get started because it's going to be exciting. Now, you can access ChatGPT by going to chat.openai.com and to the left, here are the history of your chats. Let's start up a chat with our wonderful AI and tell it you want a website. This is a doc file for planning out our website, HR consultant website. Chat GPT is going to fill the rest of the details for us. It will give us a business name, an outline, a color scheme, and then a form. Now let's generate a name for our business website. We'll go with talent work. It's time to create an outline for the website. The one page website will have a banner, hero section, about section, services, testimonial, contact us, and footer section. Over to the color scheme. So after a few minutes of giving our AI prompts and getting replies, it has given us a color scheme and font to use on our website. Now, for us to create a website that is exactly how we want and a website that is professional, we need to give the AI specific prompts. Tell it the programming language that we want you to use and what to create in each section in order to achieve the result that we want. For example, if we just tell it to write a code for a website, it will write the code for a website as instructed, but it will be a very generic, simple website. It might not even add images to the website. Now, let's try it out. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so it has finished writing the code for the website. It did okay. Um, it wrote the copy for the website. It, it's a pretty good copy, and it also wrote code for this for all the sections, but it didn't include any images. Let's test out the code to see the output. So I will create a folder and drag it into VS Code. Inside VS Code, I'll make an index.html file. I'll copy the HTML code from ChatGPT and then paste it inside the index.html file and install .css file. This is what the HTML of the code looks like. It has no style in the end. Now let's go ahead and paste the CSS code in, into the style.css file. So this is what the website looks like with styling. Mm, it's not bad, it's just a basic design and it wrote a pretty good copy. Yeah, it has a banner section about us, services, testimonial, contact and footer section. Now. To get the full potential from our wonderful AI chat GPT, we are going to give it what I call descriptive prompt. And the website that it's going to create will be more beautiful and it will be different from this one that it created. Let's give it another try, shall we? Let us download free stock images that we'll use in the various sections of the website. So I wrote a prompt, so let's read the prompt I wrote now. I want you to write a code for one page responsible website for a HR consulting firm called Talent People. Using HTML sensor bootstrap, it will have a header section, a hero section, about us, services, testimonial and contact section, then footer, okay. Then use images in the appropriate sections. Inside the code, you have to come up with UI design, the layout of the website, the website copy, images, and content for developing the website. The brand, the color of the brand is deep blue and bright orange. But firstly, start by writing code for the header and the 
hero section only. Okay, I want the header and the hero section that has a transparent background. The header will be on top of the hero section, but let's just see the kind of code that it produces and then we know how to tweak it to achieve what we want. Now, inside the code, I can see that it used bootstrap like we told it to and it also added a bootstrap link to the head tag. It also links a style.css sheet for us inside the head tag. Um, I wanted to write prompts that will create the HTML of all the websites separately, but we'll do that when, when we get to styling the website how we want it. It has written the HTML code for header, banner, about or services section. Now let's tell it to write the HTML of the testimonial section. Chat GBT also explains the code after writing it. It tells you what the code is. It tells you what the code he wrote is about how and where to add the code and what each code does. Okay, ChatGPT has written all the HTML code for our website. Now it's time to style it. But let's see how the front end looks. After that, we'll tell it to write the CSS code. It has already linked the CSS file as the style.css. We'll also add images as it has provided us with image src links. So all we have to do is just change the image file name in the code. Let's drag in our HTML file into the browser. Here is the header and the hero section. Uh, it's looking wide because we have not added the CSS code yet. That's the code for starting the website. But so far, so far, it looks good. And, and these are the rest of the website. It will look more different when the CSS code is added, you see. The button works too because when you click the contact us button on the banner now, it goes down to the contact section. But we'll tell ChatGPT to write a JavaScript code to enable smooth scroll when the button is clicked. Let's add the images in the banner section by renaming our image link inside our code to match the name of the image file. We're going to remove this image and make it a background image for the whole banner section and we'll make the header to be on top of it. From the CSS code it wrote, I noticed that it did not use Poppins fonts um, and that's because we did not specify it in the new prompt of the new shots of this second website. But it, it used our website brand color, that's orange and blue. And it also, it also added media query for the for responsiveness, so our website is pretty responsive. This is how the website looks with CSS applied. It's okay, but we can further improve it. Yes, this is all we want, uh, but the text are not readable, so we are going to add an overlay and we are also going to remove the image colon on the right and we will change the button color to orange.
we will extend the height of the banner section and we'll change the button color and work on the header. It has changed the color of the button but there is still a white border around the button. Let's quickly design a logo for our website in Canva. Well, it's kind of responsive. Um, we'll manage it like this. Over to the About section. Let's make it to have two columns. One for image and the other one for text. Let's look for a design inspiration. Yeah, this design can work. The image will have a, uh, a design around it, like a border. Let's tell ChatGPT to make it. In the about section, we went back and forth with prompts, modifications, and code. It was a bit hard to communicate the kind of border I want around the image. I wanted the border to offset to the left. There were codes ChatGPT would give me, and it would break the colon. I gave it prompt to offset the border to the dimension I wanted, to change the spacing for the text colon. To change the color of the about section heading, to change the heading to uppercase, to add the line design under the heading. So after a lot of back and forth with ChatGPT, we finally arrived at this design for the about section. Now for the services section. We'll download the images that will be in each of the service columns. Here, I am copying the button style from the About Us section to the Services section. I also copied the heading color and changed the title to uppercase. We have added a slider to the testimonial section. Now let's add images to it and style it. This JavaScript code adds a smooth scroll when the nav menu is clicked. Yeah, so this is what the completed website looks like. Now let's host it on Netlify to first upload the website file to GitHub. And then I'll connect Netlify to GitHub 
and from netlify i will now host the website our website is live at this link these are the few things to note about ChatGPT. When it stops midway while giving responses, just type continue or you can type continue with your answer and then ChatGPT will continue giving out the responses. ChatGPT remembers your history and your chat. So converse naturally with it as if you are conversing with a friend. You don't have to repeat a whole question when you want to ask follow-up questions. And talking of follow-up questions, always ask follow-up questions so that you will learn more. You can ask it to explain more of what it previously gave out. Or you can even ask it to write a code so you get the desired answer you are looking for. We shall GBT replace programmers. I actually believe that it will make the work simpler and easier. I think it's a pretty good tool for web developers or other niche that is using chat gpt like copywriting as you can see it requires knowledge and skill to be able to use this ai to achieve a maximum result knowing how to use it is a skill on its own now i feel that soon people will start using a job title like ai specialist ai web developing experts ai copywriting manager because it requires skill to use this ai tech is just there to make life easier well, that's just how I see it. I want to hear your own opinion. So let's discuss in the comment section. Do you think it will replace web developers? I want to use ChatGPT to code more complex things, to code more advanced websites and applications. What do you think about it? By the way, the link of the website we created is in the description box. So do well to check it out. Would you like to see more things you are going to create with ChatGPT? Let me know in the comment section and also tell me what you would want to see me create with ChatGPT. The video will be up on the screen now when I do make it so be sure to click to watch it yes click the video on the screen now to go watch it